Loading, loading, strike for the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Pushing on, keep rolling, rolling Hello when I listen but I told him, told him One more time, your favourite MC's bronze or silver These vibes here are golden, golden Cards on the table, there's no folders Spit bars at the club, zoning, zoning TikTok comes along, they get ripped off Man get pissed off when I start lift off Sweet like flavours, cookie and biscuit Round here, yeah, the bars I get ripped off Pinks up my soft, yo, every time I tripped up Little petty trend in the big rock Me and my G's do MFA mix up Full circle, that everybody linked up That's irrelevant, memory like an elephant Keep your heart, but you know that it's elegant. Get mad, but always benevolent. Always moving up, just leveling. Constantly telling and rhyming, bridging. Cycle through these sheets, I'm pedaling. Hibernating and boom, she's back again. Oh, cause a little fire on the track again. Turn the music up, vibe like an icon. Icon, icon, yeah. If you want buff, we can go psycho, psycho, psycho. Head to head, bout to bout to the mic on, mic on, mic on. Turn the music up, vibe like an icon, icon, icon. Good morning and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. Um, watch this for entertainment only. I'm kind of picking up the camera here and there. I'm just about to get ready to film a video. I've done my cardio already, which I do on my rest days. On my rest days, I have half an hour of cardio basically. I mean, I walk the dogs, but I like to do cardio anyway because I use that time to catch up with my DMs, which I did. Now I'm about to get ready for a video. And then after that, I have to eat, do some cleaning, do some work. Um, I have to go out and scan some documents. Yeah, I've just got a bit of a, not a super busy day, but things to do. Like I've got boxes to tick off. So yeah, um, I guess we could do a little check-in, sort of. So you get an idea of what I look like. Mm -hmm. So you get an idea of what I look like when I don't track food for a whole weekend. Which I didn't. I didn't track a single thing. I ate what I wanted. I did train legs yesterday so and I had a sports massage so my legs are holding a little bit of water, they're a little bit sore. But yeah. But yeah, basically, that's it. So some abs, not an awful lot, looking a bit watery, looking a bit soft. A little bit of cellulite, not so much. I mean, in this light, it's never so much. But, you know, basically, this is my just off-season body. My weight is probably around 75 kilos, I'm guessing. And that's fine by me. Anyway, let me take the shorts off. So, I'm going to get ready now. Hopefully, the weather stays nice. I think it is supposed to be a nice day. If that's the case, I'll take Daisy for a bigger walk later. Just to get some more steps in. And just to make the most of the weather whilst we can. And I do quite like being out in the sunshine. When the weather is nice, try to catch up some some work and emails. I've had a few clients drop off, which is normal. So now I can respond to queries from last month. Because there's no point in messaging people saying like, I don't have space. Well, I don't know what my availability is like, but now I do know what my availability is like. So I will get back to some people and then uh, probably get a few sign ups. But first I have to do my makeup because I'm looking a bit rough. Because all I've got on is my eyebrows. I need to brush my hair, I need to get some hair dye as well because I need to probably dye it by the weekend. It's been like two weeks now. And as you can see, it makes me look like I'm going bald, which I'm not. I mean, my hair has thinned out for sure, but it's just my, um, my outgrow. My roots are so blonde and that's the problem with hair color like this. You just have to really stay on top of it to keep it nice. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go and do the things and enjoy the video. Who are my two naughty girls? Hey Rose. Did we have really nice cuddles this morning? Oh my god, yes. You, you you slept in my arms last night, didn't you? You slept in my arms, yes. We had such a nice cuddle. I was sleeping like this. Just like this, right? And Rosie was laying just like this. We have such nice cuddies. Ow. 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 Ah, I guess your feet... I kiss him. Hey, trouble. Kissy. Hey. Who's a silly girl? Who's a silly girl? Who is a silly girl? Who is a silly girl? 
Uh, uh, be nice to your sister. We can both have cuddles. I am big enough to cuddle you both. Hey, Dazer. Hey, Dazer. Oh. Oh. Yes. Do we need to go for a pee pee? Yes. So it is Tuesday, in case you hadn't figured it out. Um, I didn't do much more filming yesterday because I was just doing programming, training, I had to run off to get some documents scanned, food shopping, what else did I do? Emails, programming, I think I said programming already, I can't remember. Dog walking, cleaning, it was just like a, a busy day with nothing particularly exciting happening. Um, and today's going to be just like that again, so I don't know how much filming I will do. Uh, but one thing I do know is that I'm really not in the fucking mood to go train. Like, not even a little. Like, not even the tiniest bit. So, I will go and train. Um, but I know for a fact it's not going to be the most exciting session. And this is because A, I didn't sleep great. And B, I am uh, due on my period over the next few days. And it's always like, I had the hunger and the cravings last week. And then the week, like the week before I get the hunger and cravings. And then the week of starting my period, I get, um, I get the extreme fatigue, like beyond normal fatigue. And I also sleep incredibly bad. I don't know what it is, but I just sleep really shit around my period. I mean... To be fair, my sleeping has been pretty decent lately. I had a period where it was not so great. It improved. For the most part, I'm actually not sleeping too bad. Uh, but when it's around my period, it's just a lot of restless sleep. And yeah, basically, I'm just not going to do anything. So, training is going to be a bit of a struggle. Once, it's weird, before my period, my strength and my energy is down. But once I start my period, I'm actually really strong, normally speaking. This is normally when I set PRs. I, I, I don't know why that is, but it is like that. But yes, today I'm absolutely not in the mood to go training at all. Not even a little bit. So it's going to be a session where I'm taking boxes. I'm not going to do any heavy compound lifts. I'm not even in the slightest mood of that. Uh, to be fair... It's a back day, back and shoulders, but I had a very heavy back day on Saturday and last week I had a really heavy back day on Tuesday because I normally train Tuesday and Saturday back. So, um, I think today I will just have a day of focusing more on the tempos, slowing down, uh, yes, just tempos, cable machines and just taking it a bit easier from that perspective. And no, I don't, I don't think I'll be in the gym too long, to be fair. So yeah, but this is kind of, you know, what happened around this time. Um, Just putting on some eyebrows and just making myself look somewhat presentable because I'm looking very tired. I'll come back and do some work. Maybe I'll try and have a nap at lunch. Oh, that would be good if I could have a lap at lunch, to be fair. <sighs> so yeah, sometimes people will ask me what I do when I'm on my period, or do on my period. And I just kind of get on with things, I just adapt. So if I'm hungry, I mean like, if I'm not, if I'm not dieting, I kind of just eat whatever, in moderation. But if I'm dieting and I'm hungry and I'm doing my period and the hunger is real hunger not cravings I usually just eat more vegetables and like up my lean protein or try to make things like for example if I do have cravings I will make things like anabolic ice cream uh, protein pancakes so it's kind of like it's still on macros it's not much different from what I would eat it's just like the sweeter things so I literally cannot get over how good these Sephora eyebrow pencils are. They're so easy to use. 
And they stay on really well as well. They're not, they say they're waterproof, they're not really, but they are pretty resistant to budging, so. But yeah, I'm not in the mood to train. I don't think I will film either. I think I'm just gonna snick some pre-workout. Get in there. Go through it quickly and get the fuck out of there. I think that's what's going to happen. I'm probably going to have a very quick session. I'm going to do some supersets, some drop sets, a couple of exercises, not literally a couple, but maybe like four exercises. Or, or well, if I'm doing drop set, if I'm doing supersets, it'll be more than that. But yeah, I'm really not in the mood to train. So what I do when I feel like this is I go light. I focus on contractions, I'm focusing on slow tempos, and I focus on, uh, yeah, just not training heavy, because the energy just isn't there. So, at least, the sun is starting to come up early, and it's starting to be light to, le to later as well. And, the weather's been quite nice the last few days. It's been like, uh, It's been like 10, 12 degrees, so that's nice. But if I tell you that I'm not on the mood to train, and I've, I've noticed it already 10 times, I really cannot be fucking bothered. But to do something, it's better than to do nothing. And what else am I gonna do? Just sit here. So I'll just go and train quickly. And the point with this is, is that, I know that some people think that I'm always in the mood to train or that I have like endless motivation and I really don't. But I do shit because I have a goal and I want to achieve that goal and I realize that some days are just going to be better than others. And this is just one of those days where I know it ain't going to be the best. But doing nothing would be worse. If you had to choose some makeup products, like a couple, they would you would have to have. For me, it would absolutely be concealer, concealer, some sort of lip product, and eyebrows. I love having my lips. Also, I get really dry lips. But the lips, the eyebrows, and just a bit of concealer. Those are for me. Oh, my but I wasn't listening to anything anyway. Those are absolutely essential. Oh, my fridge is looking a bit greasy, so... Let try shampoo that motherfucker. Today is one of those days where I literally just want to sit down on the sofa, eat pizza, nap, and watch Netflix. That's I can't. And I think it's because, like I said, it's partially because of my period, but also I worked all weekend. And normally speaking, when I am working all weekend and I'm busy like that, oh, let me just get this through here so there's no white cast. And when I work all weekend, it just really kind of fucks me up. There we go. It's acceptable now. Um, it uh, just tires me out. I'll do a bit of meal prep today. I will uh, bake some sweet potato so I can make my sweet potato oat bake. I'm gonna do some uh, checkered potatoes or baked potatoes. Cause I don't know, I just kind of fancy it. I would have like a normal potato in forever it feels like. So I'm gonna do some baked potatoes. But I'll just stick all of that in the same tray in the oven. Yeah, but otherwise it's a pretty uneventful day. I just have clients from the afternoon. Alrighty, so <sighs> looking presentable. Don't feel it, but let's go to the gym. Oh, today is the most procrastin procrastinatiest day of days. How's my battery date? I charged it this morning. Anyway, I guess I have to be quick. Oh, I'm charging it now. 
I really have zero motivation or energy to do anything. But it's a really nice day. So I took Daisy for a slightly bigger walk. I did not feel like training at all. So what I did I talk about this already. I can't remember. Anyway, I didn't feel like training. And uh, so what I did is I basically just trained lighter weights, slower tempos, really focusing on the contractions and the extensions and the stretches. Uh, a lot of cable work, which is sometimes nice to do. Um, I just arranged for Bulgarian lessons. So hopefully from next week, I can start having Bulgarian lessons twice a week for an hour. We'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully the teacher is good because it's kind of hard to find good teachers, but they say you pay for five lessons and it's done via uh, Google Meet, which is like Zoom, I guess. I'll just have to install it, it's not a problem. But uh, that'll be good because I need to learn Bulgarian, obviously, because I it looks like I am intent. I mean, I kind of want to stay here anyway, but with the current situation, it looks like I'm definitely going to be staying here. And uh, you know, the future in-laws, they don't speak, they don't speak English. So, and if I do want to have children eventually, they 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 will definitely be trilingual. Or they'll learn English as well as Dutch, as well as Bulgarian. And when you're a child, you pick up languages really easy, so that's the best way to do it. So the kids will be trying to go from the beginning. Should it come to that point. We will see. In a perfect world. In a perfect world, I'll be, I'll be pregnant by the end of the year. Fingers crossed. But yeah, anyway, I need to do some fucking work and I can't bother it. But I will. It's just taking me fucking forever. <laughs> I'm like big time procrastinating. Like big time. Hey, trouble. I need to clean the sofa as well, huh? Looks like you walked through some mud. Did you go for a nice peek earlier? We did, huh? Why are you so beautiful for it? We were walking, and there was like a disabled man. Like, physically a little bit disabled, but I think he was also, uh, maybe like learning disability. And uh, people like that, they always, love, they always love the dogs. And my dogs are so great with kids and people. Um, so I like um, I could see that he wants to touch Daisy, so I let Daisy touch him, and he was like, it really made his day. I'm, I'm like blessed, so sweet, because it's nice. It's uh, there's like this, there's a couple of people. There's like this man that I see every time I walk and I see him. All he wants to do is just pet the dogs. He just gives them kiss, kisses and cuddles, and then he goes on his way. I mean, why not? You know, at the end of the day. I don't mind if people touch my dogs. Uh, like I said, they're very friendly. The only thing with Daisy is, is that I always have to keep her down because she jumps, she gets too excited. And especially with little children, it's uh, obviously not good. With Rosie, I don't mind if Rosie walks up. I mean, like, obviously I don't want her to just walk up to a child, but if the parents are okay with the dogs walking up to them, I don't fear with Rosie at all. Cause Rosie will go up and all she'll do is like, Rosie just will just sniff. That's all she does. She doesn't really lick. She doesn't really, well, she can't really jump, but she's not, she's not, she's not hyper like Daisy. She will literally just go, does a little sniff, and then she goes away again. She's very sweet. But um, they had a fight earlier. I don't know why. I don't, I literally don't know why. They were just on the sofa. For some reason, they, they'd start fighting. Happens sometimes, you know, animals. So I pulled Daisy off, but Rosie's been walking a bit funny since, so I think she hurt herself. And, and well, I think Daisy hurt her a little bit by accident. Maybe she just felt funny a bit on the leg. So... So yeah, I'll have to uh, um, walk her less for the rest of the day, and maybe tomorrow, just so we can heal. It's uh, I think it's just one of those things that's going to be a problem forever. I think she's just always going to have to uh, walk a lot less, but I suppose it makes sense, you know. She's putting a lot of pressure on that rear, rear leg, so anyway. You see how well the procrastination is going? I'm doing a great job at it. Anyway, I'll shut the fuck up now and do some work. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. Didn't do an awful lot yesterday, just working, cleaning, same old shit. Um, I'm just waiting for my car to warm up, then I'm gonna go train, it's 8 o'clock. I actually woke up late. I woke up at like 6 o'clock, which is late for me. But like I said, I had a few days of not sleeping so well. Because of PMS. So I guess I needed it. Um, but it's fine. I'm gonna train now. I will do sauna and spa afterwards, or oh, sauna and cold. If the cold is working. If not, I'll still do the sauna though, because I feel like I need it. Um, 
we do is go into the shop to get a few bits and then go home and get ready for the day. Uh, got a few clients this afternoon, could to film and edit a video. Not sure who to yet. Could do the weekly vlog. But I think I'll do the weekly vlog on Friday. Because it's going to take me a lot, a lot of time to edit, so it's probably better to do it on Friday. So, yeah. Not an overly exciting day, but I will film my training today. So I'm doing hamstrings and quads. And then on the weekend I'll do glutes. And glutes. <laughs> so yeah. We'll see how today goes. I will have to take Daisy for a bigger a walk later because I was in a rush this morning, so... I'll probably do that and i come home, take her for a big walk. Oh! Maybe I won't film any reactions. I'm not sure. I feel a bit tired. Still, PMS tired. Got really painful nips as well. Like my nipples aren't really sensitive normally, but around my period, oh, it's unbearable. Anyway, just gonna wait for the calm to warm for a few more minutes, and then we go. Alright guys, so it's uh, still Wednesday and I've decided I'm not going to do any filming today because um, because I woke up a bit later and uh, with the training and everything like that and the weather is really nice, I want to walk Daisy and I just didn't feel like rushing around for filming um, so instead I'm kind of just having a bit more of a chill day got some clients from about an hour from now and uh, yeah, what I'm doing now is I'm actually doing some meal prep for when my guy comes down next, for him to take back home. And I like doing this kind of wifey stuff. Uh, I like to make sure I feed the man properly. So what I'm gonna do is, <coughs> I've got some pork. 
some pork. I think it's pork neck. Let's finish the foot steak. Yeah, pork neck steaks. So it's a little fatty, but not too fatty. What I will do is I will slow cook these uh, in a Dutch oven. This is a Dutch oven, right? Crock pot, Dutch oven. For maybe four hours, five hours, I'll check it. Uh, on 150 Celsius, that's the key temperature, in my opinion, for slow cooking anything. 150 Celsius, can't go wrong. And what I'll season that with is, um, I'm putting through there some onion, celery, and carrots. Uh, I'll put in there also bay leaves. And I still have some fresh rosemary left over, so I'll put that through there. I will also do passata, tomato paste, tomato juice. And then I will also put in there paprika, garlic, chicken stock. So it's sweet paprika and smoked paprika. Salt and pepper, obviously. And maybe like a little bit of chili because he does like it kind of spicy. Oh, maybe I'll put um, some of this stuff. This is actually really nice. I've been enjoying this Maggie a lot. It says it's extra hot, it's not really. But I'll put some of this through there as well. So it will be like a bit spicy, sort of like a... More like um, uh, a Spanish style stew, you know, that sort of heat. Maybe a bit of cumin, a bit of coriander, not fresh coriander, ground coriander. And yeah, and I'm also, um, I have here ground beef, because he doesn't eat chicken. Um, I will basically make burgers. So I've got for that to stick in there, so fresh. Uh, is it oregano or is this thyme? I'm not so sure. I think it's thyme. No. It's oregano, but that doesn't matter. Uh, oregano, uh, and what I like to do with my burgers is finely chopped onion. I will put through there a little bit of garlic, not too much. Salt, pepper, Dijon mustard, a touch of tomato paste, um, a stock cube, a beef stock cube. Well, in this amount, probably two stock cubes. And then also the fresh herbs. I'll leave that to marinate to put that on the side. Um, and then probably when this is finished, I will just tray them up into patties and just grill them. Uh, as opposed to like frying them because it's just a bit easier to do it that way and then once that's all chilled I will portion it up and freeze it down so that he can just take it with him next time he comes um, I will also last time I made some protein pancakes I'll probably do an oat bake and just make sure he has some nicer food to eat because I feel sad when I see the food that he eats it makes me sad so and it's one of the things that I really do enjoy doing is cooking for people. It, it bring, it's very relaxing and it just brings me joy. Like it genuinely brings me joy to feed people. So, but you won't like this. It's a celery. You don't eat the celeries. See, you don't eat it. Here, do you want to find a little bit of beef? This you'll eat. There you go. There you go. Do you want a little bit of beef, Daisy? Come here, sit. There you go. Good girl. I think if you enjoy doing something, and you should like never hold that against somebody. I've never done that in any any time of day to somebody. If I've done something because I wanted to do it, to then be like, oh, well, I've done all of this for you. It's like I do it because I like. It's a. It's not. A, what do you call? What would you call an act when you do it? But you do it because it makes you feel good. Like, I'm not doing it to be nice. I'm doing it because I feel nice doing it. But it's fine. But yeah, I just felt like, I just didn't feel like filming. And like, you know, sometimes it's like, I'm always busy, always doing so much. And I was like, you know what? A day here or there is not going to make a difference. So, anyway, what I'm going to probably do is I'll show you all the foods when it's finished, which will be tonight. So, it's Thursday. This week is going really quick, actually. Hey, Daisy. Um, I've been to the gym, as you can tell, just about to eat my post-workout, and I am still in that I really can't be bothered to do anything mood, I feel tired, but I did start my period today, like, I was having cramps, not not really severely, but like, the, you know when you get a little bit of your lower back, that sort of crampy feeling, that's what I had, and it's been a while since I've had cramps, so, yeah, by the time I got to the gym, I was on my period, so that was great. But um, it is what it is. I kind of just, I feel like doing nothing. No work, no cleaning, nothing. Now obviously that is not an option.
But um, I'm going to eat some food. I started editing a vlog, the weekly vlog yesterday, and I'll, and I'll continue doing that. And then I have a lot of clients this afternoon, because Thursday is always my busiest checking day, so. Which is fine, I don't mind, because it actually goes really quick, but I'm just, just feel lazy, basically. <laughs> I feel like I want to sleep, and I'm going to just be lazy, lay in the sunshine. Because it's actually warm, I think it's like 15 Celsius, so yeah. But yeah, nothing spectacular is happening, to be quite honest. You like being on the balcony so much, huh? Yeah, it's nice, huh? Meow. You like the balcony? Hey, Pishy. Yeah, you like it on the balcony, don't you? Oh my gosh. It's so nice, you're always on there. Sometimes I have to force you in. I have to grab you and take you in because you don't want to come inside. You love it so much. It's a weirdo pet. But you have such beautiful green eyes. Oh, so pretty. Anyway, I had best eat some food, have a coffee, and do some work. Good morning. It's Friday morning. Uh, yes, I ended up being really busy. Thursday afternoons are my busiest day because I have six check-ins from the afternoon. Um, as well as I was editing my weekly vlog, which takes a long time because it's like the the reactions are like they're so they're so easy to do. But a vlog, I have the overlays, I have the transitions, I have obviously a lot of footage, especially with the weekly vlog. So I was busy with that for the most part. I did bake and oat bake. Mm -hmm. And then I went to bed at like, I think 8.30 because I was just super tired. Um, today the plan is, is, is rest day, which means that I'm just going to train my arms. I don't really like training arms and I don't want my arms to get too big. So I'll do like two, 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 two fucking hell, words. Uh, two, two, three. Tricep exercises, maybe like two bicep exercises. Um, hello. Come on in. Come on in. It's not like it's not like it's not like we just cuddled with me all night. Hey, you sleep with me all night, and you still need to have cuddles. Um, at eleven thirty, I have a sports massage. I need to get some food shopping. It's normally speaking, today I have to do programming. Do you want to say hi to the people? Go. Now you know what it feels like to get violet cuddles. <laughs> and I don't even have to say anything. They know that when I get ready to go to the gym, that they have to be good girls. And the girl sits in bed, so they can get a treat. That's it. Good girl, Daisy. Open up the windows, so it can air out in here. Now this. Let some um, light in, so it's not total darkness. And... We go on train. Hey, PC. Oh, careful, careful. Good save. My little tiger. My little tiger.
So, the training is done. It wasn't the most exciting because it's arms and it's kind of boring and I don't like training arms, but I did it anyway. Done my hair, I don't know if I'll do it this weekend. I definitely need to wash it though, and I definitely need to cut my fringe. I might do that later today. I just went to the shop, got myself some Ariane, and also cheese and ham croissants. They're fresh, the best from Lidl. So, eat that, I'm gonna drive home, get home, put some makeup on, film a reaction, have a shower, walk the dogs, go for a sports massage. That's the plan. Got period cramps as well. It's not often, it's been a while since I've had those. I forgot the feeling of cramping and stuff. And some women get it really bad. I mean, for me, it's just like a very minor discomfort, but it's still annoying. Can't remember, I remember back in the day, it was pretty weird. Oh, well luckily it's not so bad anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna eat and drink this and go. All right, so I'm back from my massage. Luckily, it wasn't a deep tissue. I mean, it was semi-deep. I did ask him to not go too hard because I couldn't bring myself. But he used like tiger balm, so my whole body feels hot. So I'm gonna have to have another shower again, which I need to anyway. For some reason, this tan is being an absolute nightmare to get off. I have been scrubbing it for like three days straight. So I need to scrub it and it's also hair wash day. I fucking hate washing my hair, but and I, and I really really do need to cut my fringe. Look how long it is. I cut it not even that long ago. And I also need to clean in here. I hate little trouble. <laughs> yes, hi. Sorry, my pants are open because I feel a bit full from eating. I had the lavash with egg whites and avocado. It was nice. But... I just feel bloated from my period, you know? Hey, peach. So anyway, I'm gonna finish editing, then I've got to walk the dogs again. And then I think when I get back, I'm gonna just do cleaning. And do the, the cutting of the hair. And, and Because I need to cut my hair dry. Because if my hair's wet, then my fringe is gonna be even shorter. And it's absolute chaos here because they're digging up all the roads. And so everywhere around where I live, it's just complete mania right now, but never mind. Should clean my windows, but I don't know how to do it because, as you can see, I'm quite high up, and all the dirt's on the outside. Maybe I can get a thing with a sponge or something like that. Should do that someday. Someday. All right, so I've finished doing my editing, and now it is the time to cut my fringe. And what I will also do is dye my eyebrows, and then do some cleaning. And then I can wash my hair as well as wash out the um, the colouring on the eyebrows. So that's what it's looking like now. I'll probably go to about there. Alright, so now I've pretty much have it at the length that I want. I will basically just cut into it like this, and that's it. It's pretty straightforward, to be honest. It's a little short, but my hair grows really quick, so it means I don't have to cut it for maybe like another month. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. It's fine. Luckily it's a fringe, so it grows quick. The thing that I've learned with cutting my own fringe is to just know when to stop. And like, to try not be too perfect about it. Because when you're trying to make it like, super perfect, you keep cutting shorter and shorter and shorter. And then eventually it's too short and it doesn't look very good. Right, and that's it. Now I will leave this on for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, they recommend to do 20 minutes, but uh, because I want it darker, I'm gonna leave it on uh, a bit longer. Hello. <laughs> uh, good morning. Hi. Do you wanna sniff me? Do you wanna sniff me? But anyway, it is Saturday morning. So this is what the fringe is looking like now. 
Obviously my hair is unstyled. I've literally just semi-blow dried it and let it air dry. I think I'm gonna curl it today because I'm gonna go out for dinner. M not, not, a, not a date. Um, my guy actually lives really far away. I don't see him very often and I won't see him this weekend because he's got some very important things to sort out, which is fine. Um, we knew this from the beginning that uh, basically we probably will not be seeing each other in the beginning a lot. I did the spray thing on my hand, it's a little better. I mean the knuckles are still a bit meh, but I feel like it's better than it has been before. So, anyway, it's six o'clock. I'm just having a coffee. Once I've had this, I will brush my teeth, take the dog's straw walk, and then I will eat my cream of rice, and then I will go to Titanium in Studensky because I want to trim back, and I want to do heavy rack pulls. Well, I'll say that. We'll see how strong I feel, but I, that's what I do want to do. So, and I also asked the members what they wanted. If they wanted to do a live, get ready with me. As in, like, basically, I'll just sit here and do my makeup and chat to you guys. Or if you want to do a pre-slash-post channel live on Sunday, because on Sunday I will do a members live. Or a channel live. So far, the vote is going for the pre-post live. So... I'll give it until about lunchtime, and then I'll decide when to schedule a live stream. And I think what I'll do for the channel live, which I should look now actually, I'm going to do glitz and laser. So I have actually been, okay, so she has, uh, she did record. I have actually been screen recording all of glitters and lasers. Let me just move my camera microphone here. I have been screen recording all of her Instagram stories. So that's, but maybe that's exactly what we're going to be reacting to. So let me just get the record going. Turn your audio off. There we go. So yeah, I've been screen recording glitters and lasers um, stories. And that's it. So today I do have to program. They need to go out. This is what I've been like this. I have some programming to do. Not too much actually. <coughs> but look at that tail. <coughs> But what have you got to say with your big ears? Yes, mommy. We'll go in a second. Let me just finish my coffee, okay? And then we go. Alright, so I just filmed the reaction. And I am going to make my breakfast now. And then check in whilst my food is cooling down. So, I just want to give you guys a natural sunlight. Look of how I've done my makeup. Because, as you know, I've been struggling with this Eborium setting, this CC cream, and I've noticed that the key to it is, and the reason I'm doing super close up is so you can see, like, the reality of it. The key to it is, is I have to apply it with my hands. So I have to like, basically literally, literally put it on as a cream, because if I use a sponge or, um, like, a brush, it goes really cakey. But if I apply it with my hands, it just settles in perfectly. And I also have to moisturize really well. Like I put like proper moisturizer on. And then what I do is I go in with the uh, Makeup Forever setting, the setting powder. Just dab that more under my eyes and around my nose and chin where I get more oily. And then the leftovers I just brush over the rest of my face. And then I go in with the NYX Dewy Setting Spray. And then I pat that in and that just gives literally like a completely skin like glow and I also use um, I use like a uh, highlighter drops as opposed to like an actual highlighter just so it looks like I have like super fresh skin basically so super close up I don't I don't even I used to use a uh, primers I don't anymore I just moisturize properly yeah I just moisturize a lot um, and my favorite is actually the hyaluronic acid one from uh, Clarin the double serum it's so good but that's actually not what I use today because I'm gonna go train and wash it off. I use that more for like day to day day. Uh, but that's but that's not what I use today. Anyway, I need to make some food because I'm freaking hungry and I need to check in so I can eat. So let's do that.
guys, it's like 1.30 or something and I've been running around like a maniac. I didn't really film in the gym. I mean, I did film in the gym. It will be a reel, a short, a story, a TikTok, whatever you want to call it. Because uh, I didn't want to take my tripod. Not my tripod, my camera. Had a really good workout though. But then I had to get some dog food and then I had to see my, my, my guy and just to stock up on things. So I have everything now for when my prep starts. Um, and I'm also 600 euros lighter. So bodybuilding is not cheap. Besides the coaching, besides the food, the gym memberships, the supplementation is not cheap either, but it's fine. Um, I am quickly gonna edit the video. Gonna try and go do some plans. Take Daisy for another walk because she's not had any bigger walks today. Which is okay, she normally gets like a lot of walks every day. It's just I've just not had the time today. And then uh, from around uh, maybe five o'clock, I'm gonna start getting ready. Because um, dinner is at seven, which means I walk the dogs at around six, quarter past six, and then I'll drive to the hotel. Because I'm not drinking tonight, so I'm not in the mood for that. But uh, yeah, I've already looked at the menu. Tell me, are you that person? I'm absolutely that person that when I go for dinner, I will. I know what I'm going to have before I even go there. So I, I've already decided I'm going to have the Wagyu steak tartare. I love steak tartare. And then I'm going to have like some ray fish uh, grilled with some vegetables. But I might do grilled artichokes. Mm, artichokes. It's not something you see often, so that could be nice. Mm, that's probably it. No desserts or anything. Maybe it's dressing of some sort, but uh, because that's going to be a lot of protein, I think I'll have a carb on the side with that. We'll see, maybe. Maybe I'll have some fries. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but anyway, I'm just gonna quickly eat my oat bake that I made. Uh, luckily, because I'm just, I don't have time to cook really, so it's a good thing I prepare. And this is why you should prepare. <sighs> Let's do some work. So this is what I did with my makeup, very pin-up style. Um, I'll take my hair out of the buns, obviously after I've walked the dogs, and uh, put my clothes on. But yeah, I'm kind of liking it. So. Right, I think the troubles need to go for a pee pee, don't they? Yes. Alright, the light's not the greatest, but this is the dress, the outfit. I'll try and show you in here, but I'm too tall basically. But yeah, I like it. I actually forgot how nice this dress was. Hmm. All right, guys. It is Sunday. It's quite late, actually. It's like eight thirty. Um. So last night, I didn't feel very well. In the end, the drive was further than I thought. And by the time I got to the restaurant, I was so fucking tired. I had a headache, and um, I literally just had a starter and went home. And I I slept till seven o'clock, and I still feel dead tired. So I'm not training today because I just I just. I feel exhausted, like uh, run down exhausted. So I think where I've trained really hard and I've worked pretty much like long days for like a couple of weeks now, uh, I, I need to just not work today so much. And I still have to work. Uh, I was gonna do a live stream today, but I think I'm gonna schedule that for tomorrow and just do the members live only. Cause this is so intense, but I need to rest. Like I really need to rest because I'm, I'm exhausted. If I, and if I'm deciding to not train, it's 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 serious. So I'm. I just need to chill, relax. I'll prep the video for tomorrow, for the re for the live stream. And uh, yeah, I, I I need to. I, I just can't. Oh, fuck my elbow. I need to rest today. I, and not, I just feel like otherwise I'm going to have a million things to do again and I just feel stressed out, so. I'm so freaking tired. I feel like I've been partying three days straight and I haven't, obviously. I didn't even drink last night. Um, But I'm having a half of pizza because I didn't eat much because I, I was going to go out for dinner and I thought I was going to eat a lot of food. I ate light in the day and I ended up eating literally just... Uh... Can you please... You're quiet all the time, and the second I start talking, you have something to say. Um, I ate light in the day because I thought I was going to have like quite a big dinner, and I didn't. I literally ate um, 120 grams of steak tartare, and then I went home. 
But um, yeah, so I made an oven pizza and I topped it off with extra salami, uh, gherkins and onion. Uh, I had two plans to write, but the thing is I wake up really early. So I think what I'll do is I'm not going to do it. I'll write them in the morning when I wake up before I do my cardio and then uh, they will have it in the morning when before they wake up because um, they're Americans so it's um, they'll have it to start the new week anyway and the only thing I have to do is a live stream today and that's it and I'm not doing anything else I literally have zero energy to do anything besides walking my dogs and eating food and I might have to walk to the shop in a second because I have no coke <sighs> But Jesus Christ, I'm so, so tired. Unbelievable. So yeah, I'm gonna end the film here because I'm literally falling in and out of sleep all afternoon. I'm feeling a little bit better for napping, but I'm really fucking tired though. And they look like shit, but I don't really care. So, this is the end of the weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Do there. Dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why. And insert a. Oh, a sleeping emoji. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.